Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about one of the important detector or demodulator in AM detection that is nothing but envelope detector. This is the simplest form of AM detector. Here envelope detector consists of only two components. First one is diode and second one is low pass filter. By connecting diode in series with the low pass filter we can form envelope detector. Okay. Let's see here the diode. The diode is equivalent to the this symbol and low pass filter. We know low pass filter is nothing but the parallel connection of capacitor as well as resistor. This total block indicates the low pass filter and this is connected to the diode. When we apply the this is the input. This is the input. When we apply this is the AM wave, AM modulated wave. When we apply the AM modulated wave to the envelope detector this is this total section is nothing but envelope detector then we can get the message signal what we transmitted at the transmitter okay this is about the envelope detector circuit now let's see here it's an am uh, am modulated wave it's having both side bands it is upper side band and it is the lower side band and between upper and lower side band we have carrier varying according to this side bands and when we pass this AM modulator wave to this circuit first this diode act as a rectifier we know rectifier means it only allows the positive half cycles and it reject the negative half cycles that means here the negative half cycle means negative side band this total negative side band will be rejected and only the positive half cycle that is positive side band is allowed by this diode and whenever this positive half cycle or positive side band is allowed by this diode then it will give to the low pass filter section this is section this combination of capacitor and resistor act as a low pass filter this low pass filter section eliminates the high frequency components that means we know in our message signal we have only low frequency components that's why we need to avoid high frequency carriers or high frequency here observe in higher the upper side band also we have high frequency carrier and low frequency side band we need only this side band this side band is nothing but message signal okay this side band here observe this side band is nothing but message signal and in between side band we have carrier this carrier is high frequency carrier we no need that carrier at the demodulator output so we simply reject that high frequency carrier here the high frequency carries is eliminated by this low pass filter and only the side band is passed that's why we are getting the message signal as like this here observe there is only upper side band there is no lower side band lower side band is eliminated by using the diode or rectifier and this carrier is, is eliminated by using the half low pass filter okay then finally we will get the upper side band that is nothing but our actually transmitted message signal Okay, this total circuit diagram can be represented like a blocks like diode and next low pass filter and the input of this diode is AM modulated wave and the output of this low pass filter is demodulated wave are nothing but message signal. Here the message signal, this is the message signal or demodulated wave. This demodulated wave uh, time period or amplitude it may be depend on this RC components. Okay. This demodulated wave depends on this RC components. If RC components is too large, then this demodulated is in the form of one form. And if the RC components is too small, then it is in the another form. Let's see what is that forms. Okay. Let's see here. If RC, R means resistance and C means capacitance is too large, then what is the charge and discharging nature of capacitor? Here observe, this is the carrier. Okay, this is the carrier. If discharge is too slow when rc is too large that means time constant is too large then the discharge is too slow observe here when this uh, carrier or when the capacitor is charging and it is discharging and again charging and it is discharging again charging discharging and so on again charging discharging like this here capacitor charges and discharges is very slowly okay now coming to here if rc is too low that is if the product of resistance capacitance in the circuit is too low then the discharge is too large then the discharge is too large that is observe here whenever it 
it increases to positive peak then again it will fall down and increases fall down sharply it is very sharply but here it's not very sharply fall up or fall down okay it's very sharply in nature that means if rc is too large then we will get uh, like a shape that means the uh, like karu shape if rc is too small then that is known as uh, that is not a exact karu shape like that like that like that it will come this means here the demodulated output is completely depends upon the low pass filter that is the rc components this is about envelope detector i hope you have understand thank you thank you for watching this video